Alrighty, what's up guys? So we're in Salem, Massachusetts right now checking out a comic shop that sells manga. Uh, it goes by the name Harrison's. This was recommended to me and uh, yeah, I kind of just want to check it out. I'm not too far, although Salem is kind of, it takes a while to get there from really anywhere in the state. This is also the same city that had the historical witch trials, so kind of a cool city. The person who recommended Harrison's to me kind of cleaned it out. Maybe there's still some stuff left. We'll have to see. Um, but really, I just kind of want to show you guys what uh, what the comic store looks like. And, you know, there's probably some stuff there that maybe some of you guys want. Alrighty, so we're in the store now. Um, I go through it kind of fast because there's people around. But this is the used slash, like, kind of more rare manga. Now, there isn't too much, like, in my opinion, that I really need to pick up. Uh, there's probably a lot of stuff that some of you guys might be interested in. I don't even know what a lot of these titles are, unfortunately. There could be some really good stuff in here, but, I mean, buying and not knowing is something I'm trying to avoid. Uh, so, yeah, but there's some cool stuff. There's Hero Man. I know that's um, from the same creator uh, as... Uh, sorry, Stan Lee is the, is the creator of that, or, or part creator, but... Yeah, no, there's some good stuff. Tuxedo Gin, and feel free to pause at any point. Uh, now we're in their bigger section. This is their manga, which is mostly newer stuff. Uh, this is all retail, by the way. Um, but yeah, mostly newer stuff. Some stuff that uh, has been out for a while, but, you know, they just have some good stock of. So things like Black Clover, Black Butler. Um, there's some Bleach. Let's see. Breaker is relatively new. Uh, Scientific Accelerator, I believe that's the, that's what the name is of that. Uh, and then we have Scientific Railgun. Uh, or Certain Scientific, that's what I was missing. And the, some of those volumes are very expensive. Those ones right there, I don't think are too expensive. But uh, I know for some of that series, there are some very expensive volumes. Let's see, Devilman G. Not much Demon Slayer, which is a little surprising. I'm not sure uh, why, why that is, but... Uh, let's see, Dead Dead Demons, yeah, I definitely want to pick up some more of that, but not for retail, they are a little expensive. Drifters, I don't need those volumes though, but that is very cool to see. Let's see, etc. I feel like I've heard of before, but I don't know anything about it, I don't even know if it's any good. Uh, Fist of the North Star, might get into it, I haven't decided yet, I've heard mixed things. Uh, Full Metal, I'd love to pick up. Gantz, I need to pick up some Gantz, but I don't want to pay retail. <laughs> I don't want to pay retail on Gantz. Uh, so... Probably will pick up off right stuff when they're doing a sale, like a big sale. Uh, I don't know much about this series. Uh, let's see. I am a hero. Surprised they have that. Oh, well, kind of surprised. I don't know what they're doing that series. Dark Horse honestly kind of sucks with that. Uh, I, ho I hope they get better with you know releasing some of the stuff they really need to keep printing. Uh, let's see. It, a lot of it's a war. It's a war beto. I don't know why they had the other volumes over there, but whatever. Those JoJo's look really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Although I wish they were white and gold still. Uh, next we have uh, some Kirby, some... I don't know how to pronounce that series. I always forget, so I'm not even going to say it. Uh, Levius, let's see. Mao, I think that is. Looks kind of cool. Uh, Mashal, oh, so good. I've I've read two volumes, and I needed to get volume three. But unfortunately, I uh, did not know when I was recording this. <laughs> uh, some Parasite. Let's see, Radiant... Prison school, yeah. I mean, I, so I'm taking a break over here looking at some of these figures, and I'll be back. Someone was like right in the camera view, but some awesome figures. Pause and take a look at these things, especially the Yu Gi Oh ones. I really wanted that, but I'm not really into figures, and some of these are very expensive, but very, very, very cool figures. So uh, we're going to go back over to the shelves real quick, show you guys these last two shelves we're going to be able to see. Uh, Planet Test, we had some singles, which was interesting to see, but they're. Alright, so. First of all, they're not worth anything, so in my opinion, there's no point in collecting them unless you really want them. Uh, the omnibuses are just better, in my opinion, so I would go the omnibus route instead of the singles. Singles don't really look that good anyways. Uh, let's see, Silent Mobius, I don't know anything about that, but they have a bunch of that over there. Uh, Spy Family's fantastic. Let's see, Tokyo Ghoul. I would like the Tokyo Ghoul re-box set at some point in the future, maybe, if I can get it for a good deal. But definitely don't want to pay full retail for that. Uh, Triage X, I think, has gone up in price. Or maybe just some sp uh, particular volumes. 
but still very cool. Uh, Vinland Saga Volume 12, that's the most recent one. I'm only on Volume 6. I need to get more Vinland Saga. Um, actually, I guess I'm only halfway through now. Uh, then some Berserk and Helsing, Blade so of the Harrison Immortal. Was super, super, super busy. Uh, constantly people walking in and just like looking at the manga and just everything else. So uh, it was kind of awkward to record, uh, but I got decent footage for you guys i definitely didn't get a thumbnail i forgot to get like an overview but whatever i also had to make something up but um unfortunately i didn't get anything from the store i wasn't gonna buy stuff just to buy stuff uh i know like i said it was kind of some of the things were already cleaned out and i would have gotten some like let's say animal land if you know they had some earlier volumes because i don't actually have any volumes so like if they had like a volume one two and three maybe would have grabbed that because that's the same from the same creator as Thatch bell and there was some other series that if they had some earlier volumes, I might consider getting. Um, they had a lot of like newer stuff that, you know, would go for box price. And it's cool. It's great for some people. But for someone who, you know, like there's a million stores around here that, do that does that, uh, I wasn't really interested in it. But they had some cool like... I'm not going to say hidden stuff, but they had some cool stuff kind of throw in, thrown in, some older stuff. So this is going to wrap up Harrison's. Unfortunately, I didn't grab anything, like I said. Alrighty, so I actually decided we're going to go hit up Time Capsule. We were there, like, a long time ago. I picked up, I think, 20th Century Boys there and some other stuff. It's kind of super far, so I will see you guys, like, way later. And hopefully they have some stuff. I'm going to hit both stores. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's, let's, let's go on over there. You guys will probably also not see this for a while, but today is President's Day, so it's a holiday. Um, so luckily all my work is scheduled for later this week or you know, even tomorrow, but nothing today. So I am able to get out and make this video for you guys. Alrighty, so next we're going to Time Capsule. This is their like main store, so super excited. I found some really good stuff. There's some Adolf volumes up there, which is, um, it's by Osama Tezuka, Tezuka, it's also Message to Adolf, those are like some of the singles. Super disgusting, I wish I actually showed you guys the covers of those, but those were like super, super gross looking. Uh, it was some, I, I don't even understand how they were printed, The it just looks so horrendous. Maybe I'll, I can throw a, a photo in for you guys, but uh, yeah, so let's see, Biomega, Berserk, a lot of Berserk, love to see it. I would highly recommend, if you want to get into the Berserk singles, I would get into it sooner rather than later don't go blowing all your money but i do think they're going to go out of print at some point in the future maybe not near future but at some point in the future uh cage eden i've heard decent things about i've kind of wanted to get into but uh i've i've passed on a couple opportunities uh, i've heard mixed things kind of like lost but let's see a, a certain scientific accelerator some more volumes one through five and then volume nine of, of railgun like i said some of those volumes are expensive but those ones in particular, I have no idea if they are. Uh, D. Gray Man. Let's see. Detroit Metal City. I've been seeing more volumes for. I don't know anything about it. But I've seen those like a couple times now. And it's probably nothing. But some of these volumes, I'm sure, will be out of print in the next year or two. And then I'll be like, oh man, why didn't I grab these? But really, I don't care. <laughs> Unless I actually want to read the series. Uh, let's see. Dragon Hunter. Full Metal Panic. Yeah. Uh, up in here. I apologize if I if I kind of skip over a couple of volumes. There was a lot of people, so I'm just trying to show you these as fast as possible, but also clear. GTO the early years. I thought about picking those up. I really did, and then I realized that I did not need them. They sell them on Amazon for a little cheaper than retail, so I passed on those. But I almost picked those up. Any Yashiki I would pick up if they were on like sale sale. Uh, also, don't want to pay retail for those. Uh, let's see. Nice of Sidonia. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, some of these, yeah. Some of these I don't really know much about, but you guys will probably know a lot more than me. And I'm sure there's at least a couple volumes that some of you guys would probably really want. Uh, so feel free to check it out if you're ever in the area. Uh, it is a little bit of a drive for me, so I won't be back down for a while, but... Uh, yeah, they also have another store, which I'll talk to you guys in a little bit about, and I'm going to head over to after this, but, uh, Oparts Hunter, I'd probably grab those two if they were on sale, I don't want to pay full retail for those, especially for only five volumes, uh, Pluto Volume 2, I already have that, and Nero Rise of Yokai Clan, I thought about getting, but, uh, most of those volumes you can get for cheaper on Amazon, 
and it doesn't have like volume 11 or whichever one's a super expensive one so I passed on those unfortunately um, I just didn't really need them uh, but I did I was really considering it <laughs> uh, Soul Eater I kind of like the perfect editions a little more just because they're I don't know because they're hard covers but also it just seems like better quality um, yeah, so let's move on to this little last shelf. Just a couple right, of things So it up is here. basically dark out now, um, but we just got out of Time Capsule, the one in Seekonk. We're going to hit the other location they have, which isn't too far from here. And then I'll show you guys what I got. It's not a ton of stuff, but I did get a couple of things from here. Uh, as you can see from the video, I would say probably better stuff in terms of older stuff. There was more, I'm not going to say better. There was more old stuff. Uh, less new stuff. The other one I think has probably a better connection with a distributor to get more stuff uh, Harrison's and then yeah, so we're gonna go check out this one I'll show you guys a little bit of footage. It's not as big of a selection, but they still sometimes have some stuff uh, And yeah, then I will see you guys after that So this is the last store. It's uh, just the kind of other store that time capsule has a little ways away uh, Some Batum really not much here. I'm kind of just showing you guys a little bit, but not really too much. Iron Walk John or Jan, uh, that's really interesting. So I'm probably going to pick that up. But yeah, nothing for me personally, but maybe for some of you guys. Alrighty, so I'm back home now. Um, just want to show you guys what I picked up. So a time capsule, first thing I picked up is Saga Chapter 55. This is the chapter that they published after the hiatus that, they, um, that he was on or they were on uh, both... Fiona and Brian K. Vaughn. This is an amazing story. I highly recommend you guys to check this out if you haven't already. Technically speaking, it is a comic, um, but it is so fantastic. And I'm not even into comics. I would say if you are a manga reader, um, chances are you will really, really like Saga. Just like keep reading because the, the beginning is a little bit slow. It's a little bit confusing, but then it all clears up and it's just amazing. So the first series I picked up is Animal Land. I finally picked up some Animal Land. I've wanted to for a while, but like I typically don't see the early volumes. So we got volumes three, six, uh, nine, and 10. Let me just flip these. And this story is from Makoto Raikou, the same mangaka as Zatch Bell, which is, uh, if you guys don't already know, if you're not subscribed, that's one of my favorite series and one of my favorite series growing up. So here's volume three, volume six, nine and ten to be honest i don't know much about this series um i also know harrison's had some other volumes i've had i've had a bunch of opportunities to pick up volumes in the past but once again i just i've kind of been hesitant because i haven't seen like a full set and then um so yeah so i was able to get these for a little bit of a discount as well and then at the second time capsule which i think i talked to you guys about but i honestly don't know um but the second time capsule I was able to find some volumes of Iron Walk John or Jan. Uh, this is volume four. This has a little bit of a crease in it. I didn't even notice. The guy actually noticed when I got up to the cash register. So he gave me gave it to me for half off, um, which is probably already a steal because it's probably expensive volume as a series is pretty expensive. And then actually, I think he gave me both of these half off because it's a little bit of crease right here. Um, but this is volume seven, just some random volumes, but I saw these and I just had to pick them up because because Weabra, who is a uh, manga tuber, has talked about this so much, both on Twitter and his videos. So uh, definitely, definitely wanted to pick this up. This is the only time I think I've seen it in the wild or at least like recently. Uh, there's honestly, if you go back to my manga shopping videos like a year, a year and a half ago, there's probably so many series like this and not really this, but just like other rare series that are either out of stock or out of print now it's absolutely insane so you guys definitely check those out if you have not already but that's going to be it for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you on the next one